So this is how I have my game scene set up currently. It's nothing special, just a single grid map with some floor tiles and some wall tiles. A little light that I've got in the corner and I can walk around and look around. And the resolution isn't amazing, but you know the quality's the quality's pretty good for what it is. But what I want to take a look at is how to create a simple pixelated effect just to add a little bit of style very quickly to the project. So if I go to project settings, come down to uh, yeah, display window. The whole resolution is determined here in the size, the width and the height. But the test width and the height is what the game will actually display as when I run it. So if I bring this down to 512, I'm basically having it so that I keep, I'm, I'm taking each value in half so that I keep the aspect ratio. I'm going to leave the test width and test height at 1024 and 600. Now I could run this, but there's one more thing that I need to add. At the very bottom, under stretch, we're going to change mode to viewport and aspect to keep. Now when I run this, it's going to be a slight change, but you'll be able to notice it. It's a lot more pixelated. There's already a little bit of a pixelated value or a pixelated effect, but I'm going to lower it one more time. Come back up to project settings. Uh, we leave that alone, but we I'm going to take this in half one more time. So 256 and 150. We're still at that correct aspect ratio, but everything's much lower resolution now. Now if I run this, and I can full screen it. This may not be the vibe that you want, but I, I do think it's it's pretty cool that we're able to do this so simply. I don't know, maybe something like this would normally be made with a shader, but with this little viewport trick, you can you can get this pixelated effect uh, very, very easily, very quickly. If you want to try this for yourself, you should be able to use it in your 3D projects. I'm also going to put this project in GitHub or in a GitHub repository that you can pull down and look at the code and, and look at everything. I'm not going to go through how I set up the world scene and everything because it's already been covered, but I will link to two tutorials in the description from other channels that helped me get everything set up, primarily the player movement script. Uh, oh, also, that's the last thing I'll mention. When you change the resolution, you do need to adjust your mouse, sens mouse sensitivity. So when I lowered the resolution basically by a degree of four, then I would need to increase my mouse sensitivity by a degree of four so that my mouse actually moves a lot smoother before I had to drag my mouse so far after I lowered the resolution. So make sure you lower the resolution, but also increase the mouse sensitivity. So that's the effect. Nothing groundbreaking. Again, you could probably do some more amazing things with shaders, but I think it's pretty interesting. Hopefully you do too. If you like this video or learned something new, remember to hit the like and subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.